the hell is all this shit in OBS now? <laughs> Fuck. Hold on. Every time I open OBS, something's fucking changed. Can they not leave the damn thing alone already? Am I on the right mic here? Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Properties. Yeah, I'm on the right mic. It's just very quiet. Why is it very quiet? Shouldn't be. Let's crank that all the way. That's too loud. No, no, fuck it, that'll do. What are we doing here? That'll do it. Park it. Hi. <laughs> Killing. Killing an hour. Uh, well, probably an hour. Oh, look, the chat thing's working. Killing an hour before I bugger off for a bite to eat. And since the WhatsApp went out yesterday, I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs, but fuck all they do. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's Streamlabs OBS chunk. So yeah, the WhatsApp went out early. It went out yesterday, so I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs after putting a review out. And I went, fuck it, I'll go live. How is everybody doing? Essence Clouds, how you doing? Chris. Another Chris, how you doing? Andreas. Jack Russell, that's a good name. Skint Vapor, how you doing, Skint? Ron Stir, how you doing, Ron? Hello, something to watch while cooking the roast. Exactly, Chris. Something to watch when you're cooking the Sunday roast. Phoenix Vapes, how you doing? How you doing, Tony? How you doing, Henrik? Yeah, they do, Chunk. They can't leave the fucking program alone. They're always fucking around with something in the UI. It's not as if they're actually fixing anything. They're just fucking around with the way it looks. Village of the Vapor. How you doing, Village? Stevie J, how you doing? I'm doing all right, Stevie. Um, been not busy over the last week because the channel got suspended. Fucking YouTube. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi Vic, do you still have vape manufacturer closed down or not come back? Vape Donut, I already know two manufacturers that's not going to be back after Chinese New Year. It's manufacturers we've not heard of. They both make pod kits. That's two down already. Chinese New Year hasn't even finished yet. 47 days until six years off the... St Actually, that's right, Carol. Is it 47... Is it 47 days for you or 47 days for me because the... The channel's sixth anniversary is up this, uh, the channel's sixth anniversary is up in March the, what date is it, Mar oh, in fact, it'll be 47 days for you then, yeah. How you doing, Stephen, and another Chris, there's a lot of Chris's in here today. Jules, Jules, how you doing, Jules? Andrew, how you doing, how you doing, Danny, good, good evening, no, good afternoon, Aidan, morning, Enigma. Morning, Lemur. How you doing, Luke? Getting my morning mouth to lung vape on, switching to data. That's what I did this morning as well. How you doing, Eric? Nautilus GT arrived yesterday. Have you tried it yet? That's the one. Is is the GT the one that is the GT the one that um, Typhoon? Um, is that is that the one that Typhoon collaborated with? If that's the same one, yeah, I've tried it. It's a Nautilus. It's a Nautilus with the outside looks different. That's all it is. It still takes the same Nautilus coils. There's no difference. Just tried my first vape on the Peach Custard Mix with Capella Custard V1. That's the one you should go for. Two months steep and it's freaking amazing. Yep. Just waiting to see how quick it kills the coils. If you didn't add any sweetener in, it shouldn't kill the coils that quick. Dire thing, I can't stand the non-stream labs edition of OBS. It's too damn confusing. How you doing, Richie? Is EH Pro one of them? No, they're not, Kenny. Pod. So pod kit manufacturers. Each pro don't make pod kits. What's best coils for Trilogy? I'm guessing you mean Trilogy there, David. Um, any complex coils. The whole best coil thing doesn't work because some people may just like simple round wire. Some people may prefer Aliens. Some people may prefer staple Staggered Fused. Some people may prefer Staggertons. You've got to try all the coils yourself, basically. Good starting point, however, is the baseline, Fused Clapton. Try it with a couple of Fused Claptons first. Um, dual Core Fused Claptons, they're very common. How you doing, Erwin? How you doing, Dave? Any ideas why the Scottish Expo changed dates? I don't think they had enough people 
interested for the February date, Jason. Plus, they were kind of fighting with the Vapor Expo down in London. That's why they've pushed it forward to June or July or something. How you doing, George? Evening, Simon. E why the fuck am I saying evening? Afternoon, Simon. Dunny! Dunny! How you doing, MBK? Vaping Scotsman, how you doing? How you doing, Gary? Afternoon, Stephen. What's your favourite RTA? And I'll go for the intake. Both versions of the intake. Blotto. I'll go for the Blotto as well. That's kind of up there too. Yeah, I'll go for the Blotto as well. Also, about you know anything about MHRA clamping down on bubble glasses? Nope. Never heard of that one. Speaking with my mate who writes content for Vape Club and he told me they took them off their site. MHRA don't have MHRA don't have the legal authority to clamp down on bubble glasses because the way that the the way that the TRPR is written right now, there is nothing mentioning accessories and extended accessories for tanks and drippers. So if MHRA are clamping down on bubble glasses by themselves, they're essentially breaking TRPR laws. If that bubble glass is separate from the tank. If it's not in the packaging with the same tank, there's nothing the MHRA can do about it. Nothing. Greetings from Florida. How you doing, Bob? Wild Welsh. How you doing, Wild Welsh? <clears throat> I'm not afraid to admit that the cream-held black and gold mod gets me aroused. Okay. <laughs> Colette, how you doing, Colette? And Simon, what the hell is a DKK? Simon, cheers for the 10 DKK. I don't have a clue what currency that is. Don't have a clue. Mon Cherokee, cheers, Andre. Kelpie ordered yesterday, can't wait. I'm guessing you're talking about the Kelpie RDA, James, because no one's got the fucking tank now. EU Article 13 not adopted by the UK. Good. Good. Article 13 was a disaster waiting to happen. That's what Article 13... I feel fucking sorry for the people over in the EU, though, because they're lumbered with it, but not us here in the UK, because Bojo, Mr Boris Johnson, said, eh, not going to fucking happen here. Nope. How you doing, Kevin? How you doing, Keith? How do you think Brexit will affect the vaping industry? It won't. It won't, V. James. Uh, for a couple of weeks, you might get deliveries a bit later than normal because the new customs implementations are going in, but it won't affect the vaping industry at all. It won't affect it one bit. Reed, how you doing? Tell you what, what well, fuck, chat's just jumped. Tell you what, Vic, some parallels in the Asgard are stunning. Yeah, exactly. Vape Monkey in Glasgow got raided by trading standards and they removed all the extensions. The thing is though, Jason, Vape Monkey is uh, Vape Monkey is always getting raided by trading standards. Because Vape Monkey's done some questionable things in the past. Questionable things in the past. Anyone else had the Blotto RTS paint paint peel off? Okay, that's the first time I've heard of that, Stephen. Hmm. Any best mouth to lung berserker mini 1.5 or expromiser 1? Uh, if you've got the money, go for the expromiser V4. If you don't have the money, go for the berserker mini 1.5. But if you've got the money, go for the expromiser V4. It is a better tank. Also holds more juice. And it looks better. And it's better construction. It's just a better tank. There we go. Hi, Vic from Puerto Rico. How you doing, Ariel? <sighs> Vic, is mesh better for bringing out sweet flavours? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell you one thing mesh is good at. Pissing me the fuck off. That's what mesh is good at. There we go. <laughs> I want to get a cream-held mod and put the Brunhild on top of it. 
that's a match made in heaven though because the mod would the mod would probably hold that Brunhilde no problem as well because it's a big mod Morning Palestina DKK is Danish Krona right there we go what's up Vic how you doing doing alright Dave B what's your opinion on the Hell Vape recurve you mean the recurve RDA or has Hell Vape made something else called the recurve what eh? I'm confused, it's too fucking early in the afternoon. Yeah, it's the, it's the hell vape, it's the one that Mike Vape's done. Nothing wrong with it. I've got one up in the studio that I use all the time. Henrik, thanks for the S, I am, have, I, I'm going to search for that. Hold on, what the hell is S-E-K? Is that Swedish? Is that Swedish? Swedish Krona, there we go. Swedish, that's what Google just told me that. Swedish Krona, cheers Henrik for the 40 Swedish Krona. Joel, cheers for the two bucks. Vic, I was almost tempted to do my usual and ring you to ask if you are live. What? Why? Why would you ring me if you're seeing the live cast right now, Jules? There he is. It's Mister Flat Cap, David Beckham. How you doing, Flat Cap? Guys, <laughs> would you ever do a collaboration with another reviewer? And if so, who would it be? That's one thing you actually don't see a lot of, James. Collaborations between reviewers. Um, if I was to do a collaboration with another reviewer, who would I pick? That's actually a good question. Who would I pick? Damn, I need to think about that one. If I was to put my name on a tank or a dripper or for that matter a mod with another reviewer, who would it be? Jules, fuck off. <laughs> that was Jules ringing me on Facebook. It would have to be Brian the Vapor Chronicles. That's who it would have to be. If it was a mod, it would be Brian the Vapor Chronicles. It, if it was... Who the... F See if that's you, Jules. If that's you, Jules, you're getting fucking kicked from the channel. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it's it's fucking... Hold on. I've got the phone in sleep mode to conserve battery power, but the problem is when you put the phone in sleep mode to conserve battery power, all the messages start queuing up, and they don't go into Messenger until you wake the fucking phone up. Fucking thing. But yeah, if, if it was a mod, Brian the Vapor Chronicles, if it was a tank, Mike Vapes, if it was a dripper, who's made a good dripper? I don't want to see Mike Vapes again, because that's Mike Vapes twice. If it was a dripper... Actually, hold on. Right, hold on. If it was a mod, Brian the Vapor Chronicles. If it was a tank... Vaping Bogan, because I like the blotto. If it was a dripper, Mike Vapes. There we go. Sorted that question out. That was actually a hard question to figure out, that one. Any news about vaping law in Norway? <laughs> Ali, apparently Norway are now going to abide by TPD laws. They're not going to be overly strict. I'm going to catch up with chat here, folks, because I was babbling far too long with that last question. Nice, guys. Just a little bit of vapey. How you doing, folks? Noel! Noel, welcome to the steak bait crew. Yes. Hephaestus, how you doing? Expromiser V4 I got from source. Fucking 17 quid! 17 quid for the Expromiser. Is that a clone, Simon? Is that the original? That's fucking cheap for an Expromiser V4. Because those fuckers are retailing for about 60 quid. 17 quid for an Expromiser V4. Damn. Okay, skimming through chat. Having some troubles with your wee Kelpie RT, you cannot get it wicked right either. Dry hits are flooding, great flavour until it cre cremates my throat. <sighs> if it's either dry hits, then you're putting too much cotton in. If it's flooding, you're not putting enough cotton in. So you've got to get the cotton amount between those two. It's the only thing I can suggest. Or you're packing too much cotton into the juice intake hole. Because here's the Kelpie here, and I've got a, I've got a, a new a new e-liquid that I'm working on right now. This is a Max VG juice I've got sitting in here. And if I do this, let's crank. I normally run the Kelpie. It's got a, it's a Chris Grimes alien sitting in here right now. I normally run it at around about 45 watts, but 
what I can do, if you get the wicking nailed on this, you can crank these little tanks up. There we go. 90 watts, single coil Kelpie, 0.21 ohms in the coil. That's a bit hot. That's what that is, that's a bit hot. Wicking for days, bro. It's either too much cotton you're putting in, or you're not putting enough cotton in. You've got to get the bit in between. You've got to get the cotton in between those two. <coughs> right, catching up the chat again. Can't, yeah, it was Palestina. The strike was a fucking nightmare. And we've caught up with chat. There we go. I'm going to pop that. That was fucking roasting hot. I'm going to pop this back down again to 45. I honestly don't know how people can vape that high. That is too fucking warm. Try that. Red, cheers for the 14... 40? No. Cheers for the 50, Knox. Peebo the Driven. Recurve Singular Profile V1 for squonking on the pulse. I would go with the Recurve Single. I'm leaning more towards the recurve single, to be honest. Max Moan just for the for the last three years. Last week, some knobhead sent me a bottle of shop juice. It was okay until I was trying to top up the stream craving. It blew the lid off of that. That's happened to a lot of people, smoke screen. That's happened to a fucking lot of people. <laughs> yes, yeah, Stuart, Marty Parker's back from retirement. He's um he's concentrating on juice reviews. And starter kit reviews, that's what he said And he's, In fact, I should have fucking mentioned in the what's up that Marty Parker was back. I completely fucking forgot about that. I'll need to do it next week. But yeah, Martin Parker's back. He's going to be concentrating on juice reviews and starter kits. That's that's the bit, that's the segments of the market he's going to be doing. He's going to be doing. How you doing, Simon? Did you see the nonsensical vape report by... <laughs> yeah. They shouldn't be called the WHO, they should be called the WSO, the World Shill Organization, because they're shilling for big tobacco. That's all they're fucking doing, that's all they've ever fucking done. If they're not shilling for big tobacco, they're shilling for big pharma. I haven't tried the steak bakes yet. How you doing, Rebecca? You haven't tried steak bakes? You should, because they're very nice. Yeah. Just avoid the vegan ones, they're fucking awful. Because I took a couple of bites of a vegan steak bake and it... Uh, uh, no, no. It can't be steak if there's no fucking meat in it. Vegan fucking steak bake, seriously. Is there a mod that can connect to your phone to control the wattage TC and all that stuff? There is, but it's only a starter kit. The, um... Oh, what the fuck was the name of that thing that took the two pods? You could, you could dial, you could dial the... You could dial the nicotine up and down. What the fuck was the name of that thing? They done a they, they done a refresh of it a couple of months ago. What the fuck was the name of that? It's only a starter kit. You can't put your own mod on top of it, so that's no use to you. <clears throat> Cheers, Mustafa. What's your opinion on the damn vape Doom RT? It's a good tank. Need a new rebuildable mouth to lung tank. What's best, the Brunhilde or the K Fun Light Twenty Nineteen? The K Fun Light Twenty Nineteen. That was an easy one. That was an easy one to answer. How you doing, Mark from Massachusetts? How you doing? Oh, I'm going to screw this name up. Asifur? Asifur. I think that's how you say it. From Bangladesh. Afternoon, Vic. Any advance? Any advance? No. Any advice for wicking the hell vape MD? Watch the review. As a Norwegian, I have heard that nicotine juices are just being legalised, but I have not heard anything from when it will be available at the stores. I haven't heard anything either, Norse. Uh, the Norwegian government hasn't actually said when it's going to happen. They've just said, yeah, we're going to follow the TPD, and they just left it there. They never actually expanded on it when it's actually going to take place. I'm guessing it's going to be sometime next month. That's what I'm guessing. Jay, how you doing, Jay? I would show a bottle of the Rochford Project's Black Vine, Jay, but I've ran out. <laughs> I'm vaping my own concoction right now. <laughs> Uh, 
Where we are with the Kelby Jularty in the 20 mil bubble glass. It's not going to have a 20 mil bubble glass. The, the fucking tank would re- they'd look ridiculous. No, the Kelpie. The Kelpie Dual RT is probably going to be a 5 or 6 mil tank. I'm not going to go nuts with the size of it. 20 mil bubble glass. My name's not Steam Crave. Afternoon, Vic. Glad to see you. Not the only one trying to avoid working today. I don't I don't work on a Sunday, Neil. I'm Monday to Friday with a little bit on Sunday. Catching up with... Oh, fuck, I'm still in top chat. Fuck! I've been in fucking top chat all this time. That you're a fucking idiot. <clears throat> hip-hop, how you doing, hip-hop juice? How you doing, Neil? I think I've said hello to Neil already. How is your health? What is the best point? What? What? Hold on. How is your health? My health's fine, LJ. What is best point GPRIV3 smock? I don't have a clue what that means. Vic, when UK VS. I don't have a clue. Um, the UK vape show was supposed to be back this month, but I've never got, I've never got round to actually organising it to bring the damn show back. I don't know what you're talking... Enavap, that's the one, Chris, where you could dial the thing up and down. There we go, Enavap. <clears throat> right, going to catch up with chat again. Catching up with chat. Catching up with chat. Caught up with chat, there we go. Are you happy with your Kelpie RDA? Mixed reviews. How do you feel about this? I am more than happy with the Kelpie RDA. And yes, it's got mixed reviews. Um, but as I said in the WhatsApp, as I said in the WhatsApp, yes, there's a problem with scoring in the top cap. Will that scoring affect the flavour or the performance of the dripper? No, it won't. Yes, some reviewers and some some retailers and manufacturers, not manufacturers, some retailers got their hands in the dripper with Design Day. Total misspelling of designed at the base of the dripper. Will that misspelling affect the flavour and performance of the dripper? No, it won't. Am I going to be hauling EH Pro over the coals when they come back from the Chinese New Year celebrations? Yes, I fucking am. You can be fucking rest assured I'm going to be slapping some people about over at EH Pro for letting that fucking... I can let them away, but I can let them away with the fucking the, the spelling mistake at the base, but the smell the, the spelling mistake including the chattering on the inside of the top cap, that's one too many problems with the dripper. But that chattering doesn't come into contact with the vapour. Because the chattering scoring mark is in line with the locking studs for the top cap. Which means when you're pressing the top cap down into the base of the actual RDA, the chatter line is being hidden behind the wall of the deck. So it's not even coming into contact with the vapour. So, there we go. There's nothing wrong with a 20... There's nothing right with a 20ml tank either, Chunk. (laughs) (laughs) Vic, if you could remove one tank, one mod and one dripper from the history of vaping because it's that bad, which one would you choose? If I could remove one tank, it would be the Aspire Atlantis. It would be the Aspire Atlantis because then maybe, maybe the stock coil sub ohm craze wouldn't have wiped out the market in 2015 and well, 2016 and 2017. If I could remove one mod, was there a really, really bad mod that I reviewed that I didn't like? I mean, there was a couple of mods that had some issues with it, but if I could remove one mod, what would it be? I would remove this mod from history, right? Yeah, I, that's that's exactly what I would do. I would remove this mod from history, right? Then I would contact Yee tomorrow with the designs of this mod and say, here, make that, and then make a fucking fortune. There we go, that's the mod I would remove. <laughs> if I could remove one dripper from the history of vaping, the marquee. That's the dripper I would remove, that fucking nightmarish fucking dual coil vertical fucking monstrosity that came out in 2015 and everyone was giving it, oh, look at the marquee, <clears throat> it's the next step in vaping evolution, look, look at this, 
And then it was fucking vertical coil dropper after vertical coil dropper after vertical coil tank. I fucking hate vertical coil and anything because it's a pain in the arse. Yeah, that's what I'll remove. <clears throat> Catching up the chat. How you doing, THRL? <clears throat> Max Vapes, how you doing? And I've just skipped past chat again. Fuck. Seriously? Seriously? If this was a show that had Gwen on with me, Gwen would be staring at me right now. Hold on, I need to change my batteries. Fuck. problem with these older mods, you've got to wait for the, the the power cycle to scroll past before you can switch it on. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. <clears throat> so you didn't really like Damn Vape Intense? I thought the Damn Vape Intense was actually quite a good dripper. I gave it a decent review. There was a couple of niggling issues with it, but, you know, it was a, it was a decent, decent enough dripper. What the fuck are you doing now? There we go. Yeah, exactly, folks. Leave Jay from the Rochford Project alone. He's working right now to make more black vine for me. Don't, 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 you know, don't disturb him. <laughs> Can mod affect flavour of tank? No. Well, if the mod's underpowered and not supplying the tank with enough power, then it can affect the flavour. I bought it, uh, we'll get it, oh, the Gen, yeah, the Gen, that's a, that's a decent little kit, the Vapor SO Gen, the tanks, alright, the mod's fucking good though, it's a good mod, how you doing, Mohammed from Egypt, let's catch up with chat again, and we're caught up with chat, there we go, Ross, how you doing, Ross? Have you seen the Lost Vape Q Ultra? Joel, I've got one up at the studio waiting for review. Yeah, it's the Lost Vape Q Ultra that's got the rebuildable head included in the package. You can actually rebuild the heads for the Q, the Q Ultra now. James McCutcheon, that was entirely up to him what he wanted to do with the dripper because it's his channel. All I'm going to say is for one bad review of the dripper, there's three or four good reviews of it. So there we go. Afternoon chat. How you doing, Mr. Vapester? Vic, when I saw Smock g -Priv, you're talking about this thing. The g -Priv. Yeah, if you've got the money, buy it. Mark S haven't got the clutch. That's the, that, that's the one from Signature. Is that the new one from Signature? Signature don't generally tend to send me every new thing they make. It's only every two or three new things they make, so I don't I don't think they're going to be sending the clutch over. I don't think they are. No, no Red, the new Kelpie is not going to be 30mm and it's not going to be dual vertical coils. No, 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 no. If you want big tanks, they're Steam Crave. That's all they've been doing since they started. Go to Steam Crave. <laughs> How you doing, Gareth from Leicester? I wish you would stop promoting the black vine. It's hard to... Yeah! <laughs> Anytime Jay gets a new stock of black vine and... Oops! Gone. <laughs> It's a fucking good juice, though. It's a seriously good juice. <sighs> Love your reviews. Keep it up, mate. Cheers, Anthony. Are there any stores in the UK that has the Suicide Bunny juices in stock? You know what, Noss? That's a good question, because Suicide Bunnies started to disappear from the market. There used to be a couple... Of, well, not a couple. There used to be one shop here... Um, down at the bottom of Rivergate that stocked Suicide Bunny, but even they've stopped stocking it. 
I know that Suicide Bunny are still going, they haven't went belly up or anything, but I don't think a lot of people are stalking them now. Are there any stores in the UK? Oh, I've asked that already. Vape Mavic, do you think the virus that's going around China will have effect in the industry? Yes, it will, Village. It will. Because Wuhan, which is the city that got shut down, is in a province called Hubei. And the Hubei province is just outside central China. Hubei province is one of the major distro... It's one of the major distro provinces for the southern provinces of China. Half of the ex half of the exports from Shenzhen, which is where all these e-cig manufacturers are based, half of them ship out directly from Shenzhen in China. But the other half transport all of their goods to the Hubei province. And guess what? Now they can't. Because the Hubei province is in the middle of a lockdown. There's 12 towns and one city that is currently locked down by the Chinese government in that province. No people can go in no people can go out. And the worst part about this is we're only at the beginning of this outbreak. There's a two week, there's a two week incubation period for this virus. Two week incubation period. What happened two weeks ago? The start of Chinese New Year. Everyone from Shenzhen left Shenzhen to go back to their home provinces carrying the virus with them as they pass through the as they pass through the Wutan area. Two weeks from now, we're gonna see the major effects happen. I've got a nasty suspicion that the ESIG industry is going to have a massive downturn, not because of the industry itself, but because of the coronavirus that's going on in China right now. Because if it gets any worse, what will happen is the Chinese government will do to Shenzhen and Taiwan and Hong Kong, what they done, what they done to the Hubei province. They're going to shut it down and they're going to quarantine the entire province. Nothing goes out, nothing goes in. And that includes shipments going in and out from said provinces. We're only seeing the very beginning of this. That's all we're seeing. The two week incubation period is the big the, the two week incubation period is the big killer that's going on here because people can people can contract the virus and they won't even know they're spreading it because there's no symptoms for two weeks. It's fucking scary. It is fucking scary what's going on right now over there. Catching up with chat because I just ranted about the coronavirus. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Okay, answered that one already. Topside dual brilliant mod, but the battery door is a major flaw, holding it together with elastic bands. Wow. So the, the battery door in yours broke, Michael. I've had three of them. I mean, okay, the, 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 the paint splatter edition, the second edition of the original Topside dual, the battery door on that's a little bit loose. But there's no sign of it coming off. That's that's weird. Is Odin DNA 250C worth the price? Yes, it is. If you want a powerful mod, go for it. New Kelpie will be 33mm in dual mesh. No, it won't, Jim. No. Mesh is even worse than vertical coiling. No. <laughs> <laughs> do a collab and do this... <coughs> Do the Steam Crave Titan Kelpie. Oh, see, doing a collaboration with Steam Crave would be dangerous for me, because I would, I would, I would look, I would look at the Steam Crave lineup and go, okay, they've done a thirty millimeter, they've done a thirty mil tank, and they've done close to a sixty mil tank. Would it be possible to do a what? Would it be possible to do a one hundred mil tank and make it quad coil? Nah, too dangerous. Way too fucking dangerous. <clears throat> Afternoon, UK Andy. Catching up with chat again. Da -da 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 and we've caught up with you. I've just skipped over a bunch of chat. Fuck, sorry. <clears throat> we are seeing the little bit real, yeah, dire thing, you know for a fact the Chinese government's not giving out the real numbers. You know they're not giving out the real numbers. 
because China was slapped across the wrist by the World Health Organization for the SARS outbreak. Um, and China's going to be playing it safe right now. Devil Vapor, how you doing? Do you know? Do you know? While Welsh Pete, we've already been told to cancel or defer. Wow, dire. So there's companies clamping down already. Jerry Adams, if you want to see the inside of the Kelpy RDA prototype, go and look at the introduction video. I see you got yourself first place. <laughs> yes, I did, and I am wearing that tag with pride puff. One of five. Yes, we are the Borg. You will be assimilated, etc., etc., and all that nasty stuff. Yes, got first place and another. Got first place and another award. I might make myself a little badge up and pop it on the website along with the other awards that I've got for this year. <clears throat> How you doing, Craig? Try brand new batteries in the top side, Jewel. Slightly squished batteries will not be enough to hold the pressure in the door. Damn, how you doing, Diane? Do you any tanks or kits that are so prized that you don't use them? Just a showpiece. I don't have any tanks that I don't use, but I do have a mod that I don't use, and I reviewed it not that long ago. It's the... Um, it's the Turnwood FX Cali. It just sits on a shelf. Because I don't, I don't want to fucking use it in case I ruin the fucking finish of it. So it, it just sits on a shelf now. There's a couple of other mods like this one here. Here we go. This is the... This is the Fakir's Mods. This is the Fakir's Mods Illusia side-by-side -side mech. And I used it for a little while. I've got this fucking tank sitting on it right now. I used it for a little while, but it kind of just sits on a shelf as well. Uh, there's a couple of mods that I don't touch. Because I don't want to fuck up the finish of them. Afternoon, Tolly Mac. What do you think of the Geek Vape Aegis X kit? I like it, Erwin. It's a good, it's a good kit. Diane, the fan's on to to break up the vapor. Because if I don't have the fan on when I'm chain vaping in this room, it sets the fire alarm off. Craig really enjoyed the Kelpy RDA, bought one of each colour. Nice one, Craig. Vic, do you plan to go to the Hall of Vape? Mr. Rossi, what? Oh, I love that name. I don't know yet, Rossi. Um, Hall of Vape is on two weeks after the UK Vapor Expo. If, if I have the money in the bank account to to actually make it to the expo for the plane fare, the, the plane tickets and travelling expenses and hotel. If I've got the money in the bank, I will be going to the Hall of Vape. But, but, I seriously doubt I will. I seriously doubt I will because travelling, travelling, here's, here's the scary thing, Mr. Rossi. That's not his name. He's actually called Rossi Roar. But here's the scary thing, right? It costs me the same, right? It costs me the same to go to the Hall of Vape. That includes plane fares, right? Plane fares, food, uh, tickets if I need to buy them, and hotel expenses. That's all the way over in fucking Germany. It costs me the same to go to Hall of Vape as it costs to go to the Birmingham NEC. Because the train tickets... From Glasgow, because I don't like I don't like getting on planes. I try and avoid planes as much as I fucking can. The train tickets from Glasgow Central to Birmingham NEC is actually three times the cost of a plane ticket. So, if I, if I've got the money to go to the Hall of Vape, I'll be there. But I'm not making any promises because I might end up being skint. Will you be at Vape Expo London? Nope, Jake. Because again, it's too fucking expensive. It's in the middle of fucking London. So it's not just a case of getting the getting the train tickets from Glasgow Central to Birmingham NEC. Now I need to get train tickets from Glasgow Central to London Euston, I think. I think Euston's the closest stop to Euston's the closest stop to there. And then I need to get a get I need to get a hotel in the middle of Kensington, which costs a fortune as well. So yeah, I'm not going to that one either. Idea for Vic's mouth to lung single vertical mesh and go no 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 
what would you choose for a one coil and what would you choose to pick for a two coil? RDA. All depends on what you want to vape like, Brian. I mean, you've got you've got the Asgard Mini, which is a damn nice little dripper. You've got the Recurve, which is a damn nice little dripper. You've got the Kelpie RDA, which I think is a damn nice little dripper. You've got that single coil. You've got the um, Asmodus Blank single coil. That's another damn good little dripper. There's loads of them out there. There's loads of them out there. Yeah, ex exactly, Dino. The, the, the Birmingham Expo is so fucking expensive. It is seriously fucking expensive. And for some people, like Dino, Hall of Vape would probably end up being cheaper for them. But it's the thought of that bloody plane. I hate getting on planes. Fucking hate getting on planes. It's the thought of the fucking plane flight, though. Bring a tent, Vic. I don't like camping out either, Jonathan. <laughs> Rasper. Ra I, like, I like to sleep in comfort. I'm not sleeping outside in a fucking tent freezing my balls off. Not going to happen. How you doing, Rasper? <laughs> will the Kelpie mouth to lung be 22 millimeter? It probably will be, Rasper. Um, it won't be 24. I'll probably be aiming for 22 millimeter for the Kelpie mouth to lung. Still using the Goon RDA in single mode. Nothing wrong with the Goon. Good little dripper. Best pod for flavour? Caliburn. Ah, well, hold on. Yeah, fuck it, Caliburn. Sadly, we may not, we may not make May Expo. Depends if I'm fully recovered, walking and needed again. Yeah, you've, you've, got to th you've, got, you've got to think of your... You've got to think of your... Um, you've got to think of your health first, Jules. It's not it's not worth going to Expo if you're not feeling well. And if you're struggling to actually walk, then Expo's gonna be Expo's gonna be too much too much of a drain on you. So if you can't make it to Expo, but we'll know why. We'll know why, Jules. Dire thing, both. Eat my BB, how you doing? How you doing, Holly? What's the best hotel or bed and breakfast close to Birmingham Expo, all inclusive? Well, we all stay at the Premier Inn Red, which is literally just right round the corner. It's literally right round the corner uh, from the Expo halls. It's like a five minute walk from the front, well, probably a 10 minute walk, to be honest. It's like a 10 minute walk from the front of the halls to the front door of the Premier Inn. That's where we all stay. I would like to go to a vape expo at some point. Just don't know if there are any in Norway at all. I don't think there is Norse. I've never seen, I've never seen any news about a about a vape expo being in Norway. Probably because the rules were too damn strict. Any ideas about the Kelpie mouth to lung airflow? None yet. Rolling. I'm still working on it. Vic, if you've got the Druga Air Two, I do actually. I've got the Druga Air Two. Haven't tried it yet though, Dino. I'm going to be putting it through its paces next week when I'm back up at the studio. I was looking into the HOV and the Expo wasn't the best in my house. There been different reasons for attending, however, nothing at all impressed me. Well, Hall of Hall of Vape is a lot quieter than the Birmingham Expo. It's a lot quieter than the Birmingham Expo. The hardware hall doesn't have any music going on, and all the music and loud shit was going on in the juice hall. When it comes to how it was organised, I'm I'm still going to say it now that the although i will say that the, the birmingham expo has learned a lot from the hall of vape but the hall of vape was better organized there's no getting around it it was better organized and better staffed but just judging by what went on and judging by what went on at the expo in october it looks like the Birmingham Expo's trying to they're trying to learn a little bit from what the Hall of Vape are doing, so they are improving. They're definitely improving things. <sighs> yep, Rossi, if if I can make it to the Hall of Vape, if there's gonna be enough cash in the bank to actually make it there, I will be going. I'll definitely be going, but again, no promises. No promises. Oh, 
Ah, oh, there we go. Vim might end up driving down for one specific reason. What's that reason, Vim? Hi, how long for Vaporesso Zero cartridges last? Un! It all depends on what e-liquid you're putting in. If you're putting in a very sweet e-liquid, the, the pod thing, the little pod thing, it'll, it'll only last for three days, four days tops. If you're not putting in a sweet a sweet e-liquid, it may last you for up to two weeks. It all depends on the liquid. How you doing, Brandon from South Texas? Hall of Vape is much calmer. It is. It's a lot calmer. It's a lot calmer. It's a much, it's a much more chilled out atmosphere in the Hall of Vape. How do I wick the Kelpie RT properly? Bing boing noises. Go and watch the review. Well, not a review. First look that I put up for the tank last year. If 2019 was the year of pods and squonking, will 2020 be the year of AIO devices? The first half of 2020 will be the year of the AIO. But the AIO market will crash and burn a lot quicker than the pod market will. You're already seeing the first signs of it now. For instance, pod mods. It's a fucking AIO. What the hell are they calling it a pod mod for? They're trying to find more and more ways of stretching out the pod and AIO market, and they're already running out of ideas. We've already got AIOs out there, like the RPM80 Pro from Smock, that's got a rebuildable head and takes an 18650 battery. You've now reached the limit of how far you can go with an AIO. You can't go any further than that. I mean, what are they going to do next? A dual battery AIO pod mod? That's not a fucking... That, no! You know for a fact, in fact, there's going to be a company that will do that, by the way. Our latest innovation, a dual 18650 pod mod. See that? Sit on it. You know for a fact they're going to fucking do it. You know for a fact they will. I'm on the Ouija's. <laughs> Why are you talking with Big G? <laughs> I am the purchasing manager of a vape company with three retail locations. I recently discussed with my boss doing some product reviews. Any advice for a new reviewer to get started? Number one, get a good camera. Logitech C920, that's what I'm using right now. Number two, do not, for the love of God, use the microphone built into the camera. Get a separate mic. My own recommendation is one of these. This is the Marantz, uh, this is the Marantz MPM 2000U. If you don't have the money, get the Marantz MPM 1000U, get a little tripod stand, and that's you get a camera and a decent microphone set up. Very, very important to get both of those things right, because if your audio sucks, nobody will want to watch it. If your video sucks, nobody can see the review. So you've got to get the camera right and the mic right. Yep. What's the best wick to use? Big boy noises. I usually use cotton gods, to be honest. Oh, the ESG Skyline. Now, there's a good... Now, I've only got the clone. I don't even have the original. The ESG Skyline. There's a good tank. There's a seriously good tank. My Zoon. How you doing, my Zoon? Oh, look who it is. It's SX Mini. Yee hee. How you doing? I'm surprised someone's actually on the SX Mini account. I thought I thought you folks would be on your Chinese New Year. How you doing, SX Mini? Oh, it's David. Right. How you doing, David? The SX Mini. The SX Mini Auto Squonk Review should be up next week. I think it's up next Tuesday or Wednesday. No, it's not Wednesday. I think it's up next Tuesday. The SX Mini Auto Squonk, from what I remember. Dual 21700 pod mod. Yeah, exactly, moot point. Exactly. <clears throat> no Blue Yeti love, Vic. I've never been a fan of the Blue Yeti, Jonathan. It's an overpriced mic for what the mic actually does. And the capsule, the actual diaphragm capsule inside the Blue Yeti is the same capsule that's inside the Snowball. Yet the Snowball is half the price of the Blue Yeti. It's overpriced. And you want to know why it's overpriced? Because Logitech took over Blue. That's why it's overpriced. When Blue sold out to Logitech, the prices of their microphones basically doubled from what they were under original retail price. You can thank Logitech for that. 
how the hell do you get that chat up on screen like that? I can't find a code for OBS that works. Wired talk? I'm using Streamlabs. It's just a plugin that I just add into the scene and it automatically brings the chat up. It's all automatic. <sighs> Recommendation for a plastic lightweight mod that takes Jule 18650. Any of the LivePor series. The LivePor series of mods. The LivePor 160, the LivePor 180. There's also the Manta, because I think that was an injected plastic mod as well. There's the Manta. There's actually quite a number of them. Carl's Irons, how you doing, Carl's? Morning from Alabama, how you doing, Full Moon? Apparently, the parking charge for the parking charge for Birmingham will be going up to twenty quid just to park your car. Fucking seriously, a bunch of conning bastards. What the fuck? Twenty quid just to park your car. Welcome to Rip Off Britain. The only pod I want to see is one from Steam Crave. Because <laughs> you just, can just imagine it, Village. Here's the new Steam Crave Titan pod with its 5,000 milliamp hour LiPo cell and its 30 millimeter pod capacity. You know for a fact people would actually buy it. You know for a fucking fact they would. <laughs> <laughs> And then two or three, two or three months after that, here's the brand new Steam Crave Titan Pod Pro with its six thousand milliamp hour battery and sixty mil pod capacity. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you know, you know what we're doing, Bill, is We're just giving Steam Crave ideas here. That's all we're doing. We're giving them ideas. <laughs> Too fucking funny, though. <laughs> How you doing, Hazel? First time catching me live. How you doing, Age Crash? <clears throat> what do you think about the vape fly mod? You're talking about the cream held. Is it as good as it's look? Is it as good as it looks? I haven't had much of a chance to test it out yet because it's going through testing next week. I've only managed. I've only managed to try the thing out for a couple of days, but. So far, I'm impressed. I am very impressed with. I'm very impressed with how that mod's performing. I would love, I would love to find out who made the chip for that mod, because I've got a sneaky suspicion. I've got a very sneaky suspicion. It might be the Vapor Esso chip that's in that mod. A very sneaky suspicion it might be because it's very snappy and firing. Very snappy. Thirty mil pod, you see? Yes. See, chunk would buy it. Chunk would buy it. <laughs> but <laughs> dire thing. Eventually, Steam Crave is just going to make a device that you lower into a chubby gorilla 120. You know it's coming, dire. You know it's coming. Or you just get the chubby gorilla 120 and just pour it straight into the tank. <laughs> Saint, Saint, he's getting his Kelpie RDA shipped out to him. Ronster Campbell hasn't put the Kelpie RDA down since you got it. Well, you shouldn't super glue it to your hand, Ron. That's that's not good. You need to go to the hospital now and get it detached from your hand. I've had far too much tea today. Far too much tea today. You know Germany would love something like that if Steam. Yeah, I know, Carol. Because the, 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 when I was when I was over at the Hall of Vape, everyone, <coughs> and I mean, fucking everyone, was using massive tanks. Like you're talking Steam Crave Titans, you're talking Brunhildes, the huge tanks that hold a lot of juice. <clears throat> is there a cheap place to get decent e-juice from? As I'm spending loads in it since I started dripping. Um, good place to get decent cheap e-juice from. 
I would say drip drop, but I don't even know if they're still going because drip drop, I mean, okay, <coughs> drip drops, drip drop, they had, a, that, they had a nasty tendency of putting a little bit too much sweetener in the, the e-liquid sometime, but drip drop if they're still around. Uh, one pound liquids is another one, but I think one pound liquids have went a bit downhill recently uh, from what they're, from the reviews that they've been getting. Or you could just go down the road of DIY, just get your own flavourings in. Uh, from the likes of the e-cig shop, get your own flavourings in, your own PG and VG, buy a bunch of nicotine shots, so you're not dealing with 72 milligram nicotine, just get a load of nicotine shots, and start mixing your own juice up, it's actually quite easy. It's not stuck to it, oh my fucking god, sainty, Jesus fuck, <laughs> I almost fucking read that out there. <laughs> Juice Cabin. How the fuck could I forget about Juice Cabin? Les Pickin Shop. He does pretty damn good juices for a relatively reasonable price as well. And his tobaccos are fucking phenomenal. Which reminds me I need to buy more from because I'm running out again. <clears throat> Have you tried the Trilogy RTA? I've not just tried it, Olivier. I'm going to be reviewing it. In, is it next week? I think the review for the Trilogy is up next week. Yeah, it's, I think it's next week. Is it next week? I can't remember now. Vic, is it a sin if a British man prefers coffee over tea? Not really, Jim. Not really. I know a lot of coffee drinkers. And generally, when I'm up at the studio, the first cup I have is a cup of coffee first. Then I get stuck in about the tea. Do you vape salts or freebase? Freebase death. I'm not a fan of salts. MJ, I've already done e-liquid DIY videos. I've done them back in 2018. Any thoughts on the Trilogy RTA? Uh, number one, it ploughs through too much liquid. Number two, it's got good flavour. And number three, if you wick it right, you're not going to get the dribbling problem. Yep. <clears throat> still rocking my dead rabbit. And I've still got dead rabbit single or dead rabbit dual. I'm still using my dead rabbit single now and again. Uh, dual topside, so I've no need for anything newer. So I bought myself... A Stratocaster and Black Spirit 200 amp. <laughs> so that's storm rocking out then. Yeah, or or chef's flavours for concentrates. That would work as well. That would work as well. But see, you, you've got a choice in the UK. Generally, I tend to either go for chef's or the e-cig shop. That's the two shops I normally go for. How you doing, James Bailey? <clears throat> so I finally caught up with chat. Wow. So what's actually up for review next week? Because I can't fucking remember now. Let's have a look. And I don't think I mentioned this in the... I don't think I mentioned this in the WhatsApp either. Review list. Let's have a look here. Um... Aspire Nautilus GT kit, the Rover 2, uh, two Aspire reviews up next week, Nautilus GT kit, Rover 2 kit, the Ultrona Mecha, the Vapors Cloud Trilogy RTA, and the SX Mini SX Auto and the RBA section, so that's what's up for review next week, so yeah, the, the Trilogy RTA is going up for review next week, I thought it was. How you doing JP? How you doing, Peter? Have you seen the DNA 250 Starwood build stand that Ranger Vapes has made? Nope, I haven't. How you doing, Alex? <laughs> Vic, when you use the Caliburn Coilmaster rebuild kit, will you try rebuilding with micro Clapton wire? No, I'm just going to use the rebuild kit with the, I'm just going to I'm just going to use the rebuild kit as it is with the normal mesh because I don't think I've actually got any micro Clapton wire up at the studio. Just pulled out my OBS engine from retirement supply. The OBS engine was a nice little tank. And the engine too for that matter. They were both really good tanks. Chunk like chefs. Only because they're 6 to 7. Oh that's right, they're based in Wales, aren't they? Chefs flavours. Still use 6 to 62? No, still use 72 milligram for mixing as I mix 2 litres at a time and shots would be a bastard. I'm the same, I still use 72 milligram for mixing. As long as you're, as long as you're careful, 
as long as you're careful with the 72 milligrams you'll be fine yeah it's, here's the thing I, oh, okay here's a serious question why is everyone waiting for the nautilus gt why because it's a nautilus it's it's a nautilus that takes the same nautilus coils that aspire have been making for half a decade now it's not as if you're going to get better flavor out of it compared to the original nautilus because it still uses the nautilus coils i mean okay granted the nautilus gt looks better that's a given it it looks a lot better than the nautilus or nautilus 2 but it's not as if you're going to get it's not as if you're going to get better flavor out of it because it's using the same nautilus coils now if if Aspire and Typhoon came up with a brand new coil head, then I could see why people were getting very interested in it. But they're just using the Nautilus X and Nautilus normal coils. There's there's no there's no major difference between the tanks when it comes to flavour. There isn't. I mean, I thought. When when I when I first heard about the team up, because it's not a listen smoker store Typhoon, but yeah Typhoon, yeah, but it's just, I, I, I don't know I, I I honestly don't know why people why people are going nuts for the Nautilus GT. I honestly don't know <laughs> because it still takes the same Nautilus coils, folks. There's no difference. There's really no difference. <laughs> I thought Typhoon would have turned round to Aspire and said, if we are going to put our name at the base of this tank, we want to make a coil for the tank as well. And I'm guessing Aspire turned round and said, no, because we've already got the Nautilus coil heads. There's nothing wrong with them. You're just going to make the tank and we're going to use our coils. I think that's what happened. Did I win yet? <laughs> How you doing, Aries? <laughs> yeah, that's true, but it's 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 a mouth to lung tank. Well, it's a mouth to lung and partial direct to lung tank, granted, but it's a mouth to lung tank that takes the Nautilus coils. I don't see what the buy honestly, and I'm gonna be saying this in the review, folks. I'm going to end up pissing a spire off, but I'm going to be saying it in the review. I don't see what the big attraction is. It's it's a Nautilus tank where the tank was designed by Typhoon, but it still takes a coil head that's half a decade old. It's TBD, how you doing, Tibida? Victor, show me that vape fly kit. TBD, I can't, because it's up at the studio. All uh, Any of the new stuff I don't bring back to the house, it's always up at the studio, so it's up at the studio right now. Watch the What's Up. Have a look at the What's Up, TBD, it's in there. You can get good close-ups at that. Chris Bowman, hey, Vic, hurry up in the dual coil, Kelpy RTA. I'm thinking I'm going to be doing the mouth to lung tank first, Chris. To be honest, I think I'll do the mouth to lung tank first. Then I'll work in the te the then I'll work in the Kelpie duel, um, because that's me. That's me brought out, or that's that's me designed, or co-designed two direct to lung atomizers. I want to do, I want to do a mouth to lung next, because I've got a sneaky suspicion twenty twenty that the back half of twenty twenty. Is gonna you're you're gonna be seeing a lot of mouth to lung tanks being made, um, because I know at least I know of at least two American reviewers that are in the very early stages of making their own mouth to lung design for a mouth to lung RTA. So I want I want to get the mouth to lung tank out first, um, and if there's enough time, the Kelpie dual RTA could be released before Christmas of this year. But I I, I want to get the mouth to lung tank out first. <sighs> Can't 
Can't get my head around. How you doing, vaping heed? I can't get my around some established vapors who normally vape, let's say, 3 milligram need a higher neck kit, like 18 milligram to start their day. Yeah, I'm one of them. See that up there? See that up there, vaping heed? That is the Smock Guardian 3, and that is the Digi Flavor Siren 2, and that is a drip tip that makes it look like a pipe. Uh, that little fella is filled with... What's in that, actually? That has got... That's got Les Pickens Flu Cured 2013 at 18 milligram. And when I wake up first thing in the morning, I grab that thing first before I even think about getting a cup of tea. Because if I don't have a nicotine hit first thing in the morning, I'm liable to do two things. Either, number one, run outside and kick the nearest puppy. Or, number two, run outside and set a kitten on fire. And you don't want to see me do that, so I need the nicotine hit first thing in the morning. And I generally tend to vape, I generally tend to vape 16 or 18 milligram mouth to lung throughout the day. I kind of mix and match because I've got this here and where the fuck did I put it? Here we are. I've got this here which is the Aspire AVP. Still using it, the Aspire AVP, and this has got Les Pickens, Latakia, and Perique. It's a 50-50 mix that I've done myself. It's got Les Pickens, Latakia, and Perique, again, at 18 milligrams. I still vape 18 milligrams now and again. I mean, here's the thing, though, Heed. Here's the thing. I started on 32 milligram cartridges. If you go, if you go way, way back to the beginning of the channel, uh, the old Jack Vapor VIP kits, the the Jack Vapor, the Jack Vapor Ego kit, those were thirty two milligrams I was vaping on. Thirty two milligram uh, tobaccos that I bought from that I bought from uh, Jack Vapor. I started at thirty two, and it took me about it took me about a year and a half. It took me about a year and a half to work down from thirty two to eighteen. A year and a half to do that. Are you going to stick with EH Pro Vic? Yes, I am, TW, but you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be chewing them out when they come back from their holiday. <clears throat> it's TBD. I'm going to scroll back up, but it's an absolute beaut of a mod, Vic. I want... I went full free ship mode with them, but... <laughs> TBD vape fly... Vapefly don't generally tend to send their kits out to a lot of people. Um, they are. And, that, that you know, I'm not putting them down here, but it's true they are one of the smaller companies in Shenzhen. It just happens that all the stuff they've come out with is fucking spot on, and that's because they teamed up with the German 103 team, but not a lot of reviewers in the UK, and even less in the EU, actually get stuff sent to them from Vapefly. Uh, they don't, they generally don't tend to send that, send that, uh, send out to a lot of people. I put too much fucking, I put too much mango, for the people wondering, this is one of the new flavours that I've come up with. I've, I've, I've came up with a new version of the peach custard, by the way, right? The recipe's not up yet, but I'm going to be sending it to Andy Beard over at Esig Liquid. This is another one I've come up with. Um, it's cover your ears, Jay. It's not. I, I, I wasn't trying to copy the black vine, but I wanted to make my own spin on the black vine because I was running out. That's why I made bone juice because I was running out. So what this is is it's it's a black currant, a black currant, mango, grape, watermelon. That's the fruits that's in it. It's got 0.5% Inawera cactus, and it's got 2% sweet cream. And the sweet cream's in there to take the edge off the bitter tones of the likes of the grape and the blackcurrant. It's actually not bad, but I've put too much grape in. Put too much grape in. I'll need to go back to the drawing board with it. But thankfully, Jay from the Rochford Project has got a new batch of uh, a new batch of the black vine in, so I should be getting some next week. Yay! Because <clears throat> that's been that's been what three days I've been without black vine. Oh, oh! I'm fucking climbing the walls here. <laughs> I 
and caught up with chat again because chat decided to skip. How you doing, Arif? How you doing, Arif? Good to see you. Google Les Picken, uh, Broken Silence, Search for the Juice Cabin. Uh, Les Picken, don't search for Les Picken, search for the Juice Cabin UK. You'll come across either his Facebook group page or his website. Juice Cabin UK, that's what you're searching for. Kyle and MRT leaked to me the very first time last night. Can't figure out that one. Retraced all my setup steps and couldn't reproduce the, light, the, 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 the leak. Here's a trick for you, James. Strip the tank down completely, including the O-rings. Take the O-rings out from the resting place. Strip the whole thing down. Get the O-rings, run them under a cold tap to make sure they're cleaned out. Put the whole tank back together. Let it dry out. Then wick it, coil it. Well, coil it, wick it, and put the juice in. I've got a sneaky suspicion one of your O-rings has got an air bubble trapped behind the seal. That's why it's leaking. Hi, Vic from California. <laughs> How you doing, Steve 054? Vape fly may be small, but the va yeah, that's very true. Everything that vape flies made, even before they teamed up with the German 103 team, I've never had a problem with anything vape flies made. Fantastic company. Fantastic company. Even better now since they teamed up with the German 103 team. Catching up with chat again. Other half is still smoking, but I got her a Jester. Jester pod's a good bit of cat, actually. Jester pod to try out. There's some Les Pickens, RY4 markets. I haven't tried Les's RY4, but I heard it's pretty damn good. She likes it, so she's on her first step to giving up the stinkies. Storm, that's what it's all about, getting people off the stinkies. I need to give that a try. Les Pickens RY4. Because a lot of people were saying that was really nice. I never tried it, though. Is it sweeter than Prince and King? Steve Evans, yes, because the new peach custard recipe has actually got Capella's super sweet dropped in it. I wanted a sweeter custard. Vic, will you be doing a comparison vid in the U well versus the 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 Let's start that again. Unicron's hole. Vic, will you be doing a comparison vid on the U well versus the vape fry evil do? Here's the thing, Cron. You well didn't send me the evil dildo. Sorry, I'm going to say evil dildo because that's the way every other fucker's pronouncing it. You well never sent that out to me. That was never sent. Uh, so the only one I've got is the vape fly one. And yes, that vape fly mod does look a lot like the evil dildo. I'll be the first to admit it looks a lot like it, but I can't compare it because I don't have the I don't have the you well original. <coughs> Vaping with Kate. Hi, Vic. How's it going? Just finished work. Now on to recording. Don't know how you do it. Vaping with Kate. Very easily. I don't have a day job because I'm doing this full time. That's how I've got the time to do it because I'm actually doing the reviewing as my job. That's why I can do it so much. And that's me get a second channel opened up. Search for it, people. Tech with Vic. Tech with Vic. Go and subscribe. Thank you. Stop, Vic, you've sold me already. <laughs> it's, yeah, the, the new, the new, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it the Sweet King. It's, it's the same baseline as, it's the same baseline as the King, but there's more cream and it's more sweeter. Think of it, think of it as Ambrosia's Devon Custard. The King is more like Bird's Custard, that custard powder stuff that's a little bit on the bitter side. There's no sweetness in it. The King's a bit like Bird's Custard. The Sweet King is going to be a little, like, a little bit more like Ambrosia's Devon Custard. More creamier, more sweeter, and it'll probably gunk your coils up. I'm just going to warn you now, if you do mix it, it will gunk your coils up. Because I've got it in this. I've got it in the Black Kelpie. And I've got to recoil this every four or five days when I'm vaping the, the new King on it. Because it's a bit in the sweet side. I admit it, it's a bit in the sweet side. Oh... Look at that, the fucker's almost empty. That was almost a dry hit there. <coughs> Hi Vic, please say hello to Sharon. She loves you. How you doing, Sharon? That's the wrong fucking one. I almost put the fucking black current in there. Hold on, this is the one I'm on. <coughs> Hi Vic, love the way you review mods, Vic. Cheers! Oh, I'm going to butcher this name. Jor Jorvins? Jorvins. I think that's how you say that. Oh, 
Are you going to upload the recipe online? But I am TBD. Yeah, the recipe is going to be going up on eliquidrecipes.com. Both of them. Um, this blackcurrant mango grape thing that I've come up with that I've got far too much fucking grape in. And I'm also going to be putting up the new king recipe. I'm probably going to put them up uh, put them up in a, in a couple of weeks. It'll give Andy from Best Sig Liquid time to make the mix up himself. By the way, for the people wondering, um, Best Sig Liquid are selling the Vaping with Vic juice line. However, I'm not making any money from it. Because I've seen some people were in some groups saying, oh, look at that. Vic's got his juice and he's pimped it out to that Andy guy over at Best Sig Liquid. I wonder how much of a cut he's getting. None. None. And Andy did offer. He'd, Andy did say, Andy, Andy, the guy that owns Best Sig Liquid, he did say, what kind of percentage do you want from this, Vic? And I just said, none. Keep all, keep all the profits for your own company, Andy. I just wanted somewhere in the UK that sells the juices pre-mixed because not everyone DIYs. So if you're buying a bottle of, if you're buying a bottle of uh, Best Sig Liquids Vaping with Vic Range, you're helping a UK company. That's all I can say to that. I'm not getting a single cent from any sales of my juice over at Best Sig Liquid. Never have, for that matter. Um, um, this is the new custard, and it's fucking gorgeous. It really is. Um, um. Vaping heat, how much nick do you think is in one cigarette? Um, it all depends on how you measure it, heat, because some genuses, some genuses of Virginia have got lower nicotine content per leaf compared to a Virginia genus in the Midwest, for instance. If you get a Virginia, gen a, a Virginia genus in the Midwest and compare it to a Virginia genus that's been grown in Asia, you normally find the Asian variants of the Virginia genus have got 10 to 15 milligrams more nicotine content per leaf. If you're judging it per cigarette, I think the World Health Organization came up with something like 32 milligram. 32 or 40 milligram per cigarette or some shit like that. I can't remember now, to be honest. It's, it's way, way up there. But again, it depends. It depends on what the brand is. It depends on what the brand is using for the tobacco leaf. It depends on how that leaf was processed because you've got flu cure, you've got sun cure, and you've got barn air cured. Flu cure, you've got hot flu cure, cold process flu cure, air flu cure. The sun cure, I'm a big tobacco aficionado, folks, for the people that didn't know. If you're talking about sun cure, you've got open sun cure. You've got open air sun cure, which means they leave, they leave the leaves out on like a rack. And they've got big industrial fans that's blowing cold air, like air, towards the leaves to dry them out quicker. The quicker the leaf is dried, the quicker it's dried, the more nicotine content remains in the leaf, but the more bitter the leaf becomes. The longer it takes for the leaf to dry, the sweeter the taste, the less bitterness is there, but you lose the nicotine. So it, it depends on the brand, what brand it is. Like, for instance, you've got Marlboro, and you've got Marlboro Reds, and you've got Marlboro Blues, apparently. Then you've got the menthol cigarettes, which generally tend to use sweeter leaf, which means the nicotine content's lessen. You, you can't really pin down the nicotine content of a cigarette. It's got to be an average. It's got to be an average that you're dealing with. Can you tell I was heavily into smoking when I was a smoker? Because I used to spend a fucking fortune getting some of the more exotic blends of tobacco from, from tobacconists and air and tobacconists and glass used to spend a fucking fortune on the more exotic tobacco blends. I really did. Let's catch up with chat here, folks. And caught up with chat. What are you looking to do with your first mod when you design it? Andy! I'm going retro. That's that's all I'm, I've got plans in my head for the first of the Kelpie mods. I'm going retro with the design. Think 
Think back to 2015 and 2016, the classic box mods that everyone pines over compared to the fucking flashy LED colour screens that we're getting today. Something simple to use, something easy to use, something a beginner can pick up immediately, and something that does not have fucking temp control in it. Because as far as I'm concerned, temp control can fuck off. Right, so it's you're gonna be you're gonna be dealing with variable wattage bypass and variable voltage. That's what I'm gonna be dealing with because I'm gonna I'm gonna be saying to EH Pro, see that temp control bit? Just just shh, just get rid of it. Nobody will notice. Get rid of it. Shh. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Yep. How you doing, Mark? <coughs> Don't vape and talk at the same time. Back. How you doing, Mark? How you doing? How you? Why am I saying how you doing, Jules? I meant to say how you doing, Kieran. There we go. I wonder if DIY or die could work it out. Oh, are you talking about reverse engineering? He probably could. Because DIY or die is pretty damn good at that. Reverse engineering liquids. He's done it. He's done it a number of times before. Catching up with chat again, folks. Here we go. Caught up with chat. Vic, you need to start a new channel called DIY with Vic. <laughs> No, no, Arif, because if I start a DIY channel, then I'll be tempted to buy a drill and then I'll probably kill myself by drilling into an electrical cable or drilling into an electrical socket going, here we go. No, 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 you don't want me to do a DIY channel. No. Sam Lloyd, yo. Good evening from the Philippines. How you doing, Paul? President signed last week a bill to increase e-juice by 0.9 USD per 10. Wow. So, President Duterte has increased taxes on e-liquids by 90 cents per 10 mil freebase and a flavour ban. What? What? I mean, okay, he's got Duterte's got this war and drugs thing going on, but somebody needs to walk up and have a word with the guy saying, see this, this is not drugs, dude. This is helping people give up fucking smoking. They're probably fucking too scared to talk to him because it's Duterte. The guy's a fucking lunatic. I'm saying that, by the way, because I've got family over in the Philippines. I've got family over there. The guy's a fucking lunatic. Hashtag Vape Nation. Yes. SX Mini. Yee-hee. That was a bit harsh. It's not harsh. It's not harsh, David. I, I'm not a fan of temp control. I don't mind temp control in the likes of the SX Mini or little pod kits, like the little pod devices that rely on temp control. But when you're dealing with things like this, you don't need temp control. You don't. Not in things like this. Wattage, voltage. That's all you need. Get the temp control, wrap it up in a bubble, throw it out the window. Yes. I am still retro. I've got two turntables, two cassette decks, and four reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. Bloody hell, Storm. That is retro. Uh, Jules, Vic, you were saying Jules because though you're my three out of five. <laughs> we're all a member of the Borg Collective. Yes, we are. <clears throat> no drill for Vic. Damn right. Vaping heed, yes they are, and it's not just menthol cigarettes, it's rolling tobacco as well. Um, there's a clause in there, uh, the, the, the whole, for the people that don't know, menthol cigarettes are getting, U, are getting banned in the UK, but it's not just the UK, it's an EU law that the UK is accepting, even though we're leaving the European Union. But there was a clause in there as well for rolling tobacco, like loose tobacco, to be banned. And apparently, according to the press, it's not just menthol cigarettes that are getting banned in the UK. By the end of 2020, loose rolling tobacco is going to be banned as well. That's that's what the press are saying. I know that the menthol cigarettes thing, that's that's been on the cards for a while. But the press is reporting rolling tobacco is getting banned as well. And that's going to piss off a lot of people. A lot of people, because a lot of people I know still smoke rolling tobacco. How you doing, Harold? Top of the morning, Ace. Ah, 
caught up with chat again? Yes, I have. Ray Cook, how you doing, Ray? Cheers for the $10, and it is good to be back on YouTube again. That's the suspension lifted. All because of links. Who'd have fucking thought? Vic, can you teach me your accent, please? Watch a lot of James Bond movies with Sean Connery. That should do the trick. What about a DIY for liquid that starts simple in one flavour and then has a... Yeah, that could be done, Kieran. Take a little bit of time, but it could be done. I'm in the States working to pick up the RBA head for the bush. You're going to have to wait a bit, Harold, because China's on holiday right now. Isn't Vicious Ant based in the Philippines? Yes, they are. At least I think they're based in the Philippines. I'm sure they're based over there. Yeah, Vicious Ant's in the Philippines from what I remember. I absolutely have shares and no more nails, but I'm not sponsoring the channel. <sighs> What's this one of five and three of five you speak about? Hmm, that's the question, TBD. Hmm. <laughs> got you. By the way, in the last two videos of yours, one time you got a nasty dry hit and now you almost had a second one. <laughs> You're just saying that, you're just saying that, David, because I don't have this running on temp control. That's why you're saying that, David. Thanks, David. Thanks. <laughs> just, just David, just dropping the mic when he leaves. <laughs> What's up with Brexit anyway? Thank fuck that's going to be over with after the 31st. That's all I'm saying. Want to see a DIY with Vic channel is want to see spirit level stuck to his forehead with no more nails. Thanks, Saint. Thanks. How can you assure us that the QC will be done properly on the Kelpie mod? Well, unfortunately, I, you know, I have no way of looking into the future. Morning, Todd. Yeah, dire. Yeah bigger black market that's all you're gonna do if you if you if you end up slapping in prohibition you're just encouraging the black market that's all you're doing that's all you're doing vaping heed woohoo Marant. oh you get your hands in the marantz umpire that is a fucking good mic vaping heed really good mic it's a little bit wide on the cardioid so it'll pick up it'll pick up some more noise from behind but it's a good mic, especially for the price. It's like half the price of this. And this is another Marantz mic. Here we go. It's, uh, it's the Marantz. It's the Marantz MPM 2000U. And the Marantz umpire is half the price of this. And the sound from it is just as good. It's a really good mic, the Marantz umpire. I should know, because I reviewed it on the Tech with Vic channel, people. Yes, Tech with Vic. Go and search for it and subscribe. Thank you. <clears throat> Vic, what would you say, single coil or dual? I'm more of a fan of single coil tanks, Eric. That's why I've got one here and I've got another one here. True Vapor, how are you doing, True Vapor? Good seeing you. Oh, fuck, I've just skipped up chat again, damn it. Vic, what do you think of G's car? <laughs> Yeah, Jay's cartoon on the Kelpie, the, the actual Kelpie, the mythological creature, I thought that was fucking hilarious. I was watching, I was watching Jay's review up at the studio and I was fucking howling all the way through that little animation. That was too damn funny, that. Too damn funny. Have fun with the Caliburn rebuild kit from Coilmaster. Yeah, John O'Connell. It's... There's not a lot of space inside those pods. So it's going to be a bastard getting the fucking coil rebuilt. But I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <clears throat> Tetley man. Yee <clears throat> Nothing wrong with Lynx. It's the only deodorant. <laughs> Storm. Okay, caught up with chat again. Here we go. Guess I need to get a hold of Perry and Jazz and get one of those sent over and see what the big deal is. Yeah, the uh, the Yee Hee Yee -hee. SX Mini Auto. The review for it's up next week on my end. Curious about the new Coilmaster stock coil rebuild kit. You showed it on What's Up. Are they cheaper to buy than a pack of coils? Yes, they are. They are cheaper to buy than a pack of coils. Um, from what I've seen, there's enough to do three rebuilds on the pod. 
And from what I've seen of the price that Coil Master have got it penned in at, one pack, like one box for the Caliburn is going to cost slightly less than half the price of a full pack of pods for the Caliburn. So you are saving money. But the big question is, is it going to be worth it? Because rebuilding the stock coil head for the Geekvate Boost, that's easy. Because the stock coil is about that tall and about that wide, right? So that you've got a lot of room to work in. But rebuilding the coil head and the Caliburn pod, that is going to be a bastard. I'm going to say it now. I haven't even tried it yet, but I can tell you now that is going to be a bastard because the coil head inside the Caliburn pod is fucking tiny. Tiny. So it's going to be a trade-off. Um, is it worth your time saving money from not buying the coil pods, from not buying the pods for the Caliburn and rebuilding them? Or are you? do you just want to spend the money buying the pre-built pods already and not having to spend a lot of time rebuilding the pods manually. So that's why I'm doing a video covering all three of the box. I'm not going to cover the Vupu because I'm still boycotting Vupu, but I'm going to be covering the one for the small RPM 40 heads, the Cali button heads, and I'm going to be doing another, I'm going to be doing the same build for the Geek Vape Boost head. So it's going to be one long video with all three of the boxes. And it's going to be a top-down view of me doing a rebuild for all three of those heads. And people can simply judge it by how long it took me to rebuild the head for the Caliburn pod. But I can tell you now, if you've got arthritis, if you have problems with dexterity of your hands, buy the pods. Buy the pods. It will be easier to do it on the boost than the RPM. But when you're dealing with the Caliburn pod, just buy the pods. Simple as that. Vic, do you know what type of tobacco Amberleaf is? <sighs> Vaping Trucker, Amberleaf is actually a mix of three different types of Virginia. You've got a Golden Virginia, which is the lighter strands that you see. That is a That one is a short cure flu. Short cure flu. So you, the easy way you can tell is this. See when you've got a pack of Amberleaf in front of you, tease out one of the lighter strands of tobacco roll it up into a ball and taste it. It's bitter, very bitter. The rest of them are long cured. Long cures are generally sweeter. Tease out one of the strands of long cured tobacco, roll it up into a ball, taste it on your tongue, and you'll taste it slightly sweeter than the lighter cure. It's actually a mix of three different genuses, three different genuses of tobacco and three different cure processes. What's better, the Marantz Umpire or the Blue Snowball? <laughs> the Marantz Umpire. The Marantz umpire hands down because you get the cable, you get the stand, you get the mic, you get the pop filter all in the same box for half the price of the Blue Snowball podcast pack. Because if you go to if you go to Logitech slash Blue website and you try and pick up the Blue Snowball with the ring mount stand and a tripod stand and a pop filter, you're paying three times the price of the Marantz umpire. Marantz umpire wins. It just wins. Yeah, Andy, there is, yeah, yeah, sticks like shit. I seen it, I seen it, I seen it on Amazon, Andy, but I thought to myself, I, I could do some serious damage with this stuff if I started using it. So that's why I went with no more nails instead. <clears throat> Catching up with chat. Morning, Cryptid. <laughs> Vim Janssens, please don't do any jump cuts and leave the swearing in that pod rebuild vid. That's the plan. That's that's the plan, Vim. I'm just going to hit record and just record it all the way through the entire build process so people can get a real-time look at how easy or how difficult it is to rebuild those Caliburn heads. Now, Coilmaster put their own vid up, right, of some bloke over at Coilmaster's HQ given it all this you could tell it's edited though if you look closely you can tell they've edited it so is that the full process from beginning to end or did they jump cut the bits where he fucked up in the middle that's the question that's the big question umpire versus 2000u 
two thousand new wins, hands down it wins. Aries, it's it's a better it's a better diaphragm capsule than the two thousand new. It's a lot more. The the umpire's got a wide. It's got a wide angle at the front to pick up more noise because the umpire was designed as a podcast interview mic. So it's a mic that you can it's a mic that you can have three or four feet away from you in the middle of a table to pick up a conversation between three people. You can't really do that with this. So the two thousand you, if you're if you're sitting by yourself, if you're sitting by yourself doing live shows or you're sitting by yourself doing YouTube videos. If you've got the money, because the 2,000 U is about two times the price of the umpire, you've got to remember that. If you've got the money, go for the 2,000 U. If you don't have the money, and it's a choice between the blue snowball and the umpire, get the umpire. Because the blue snowball, it's an old mic, and it's starting to show its age. It is, it's, a st it's still a good mic, but it's starting to show its age. It really is starting to show its age. <sighs> What's the best vape tool building kit? It's the one from Coilmaster Peter. The DIY kit that they haven't refreshed for half a decade. <laughs> Sorry, Coilmaster, but you really need to come out with a new DIY, a, a new DIY kit. It's still, a, it's still the Coilmaster kit, Peter. The one from Vape, was it the Vape Fly? Vape Fly came out with a mini tool kit halfway through last year, but it lacked, it lacked the options that the Coilmaster DIY kit had. <clears throat> when's the kelpie pumper coming out don't give me any ideas cloudy i bet you'll get another studio for that tech channel paul i've already opened one i've, I've got two offices remember i've got the main office i've got the main office for the e-sig stuff and i had an office next door as a storage cupboard and what i've done i've taken all the cardboard boxes and shoved them up to the far end of that that second office i've painted one of the walls and that's me get the second the second studio set up already spuddy edwards would you sell me your guardian 3 no because you can't buy them anymore <sighs> have you ever experienced a mouthful of juice with the gear rta no if you're getting a mouthful of juice, Eric, that means that that means the deck is flooding out, which means you haven't put enough cotton in the wick holes. It's letting in too much juice. <clears throat> I already have my two thousand U. Yeah, you did. No, you got you got yours before I got mine because it was you that told me about my rants back in twenty fifteen, Aries. You told me about this. I mean, I, I think I got mine about. I think I got mine about. Six months after you got yours? So it was about six months. Yeah, this thing. I can love this making. I've got the uh, I've got the Marantz MPM 1000, the one below this, up at the eSig studio. They're basically the same mic, but the, the 1000's an older mic that doesn't have doesn't have the diaphragm size that this one's got. Vic, what's happened to your center left channel? My Zoom. That channel will be coming back very soon. Very soon. I've actually got. A, I'm. I'm. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of painting the opposite wall from the Tech with Vic studio set. I'm painting the opposite wall from that uh, to be doing stand up talking head videos for the center left channel. I still need to wait in the paint drying before the second coat. The second coat though. <sighs> Robot Ninja, when it comes to rip, yes. Yes, you're right. He did grow to the point where he basically lost touch with the base of the vaping community. If you think about it, he has. And if you think about it, that 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 kind of happens to all big time YouTube reviewers, whether they're in the tech industry, whether they're in whether they're in the tech review industry, whether they're in the car review industry, because there is some channels out there that review cars. They've got some kind of deal going with dealerships, and they can you know they can borrow the car for a quick thirty minute YouTube video. But when you get to a certain when you get to a certain size. When you get to a certain size on a YouTube video, 
two things happen. Number one, your comments, the comments in the videos becomes impossible to manage. Impossible. Go and take a look at any of Rip Tripper's YouTube videos and look at the amount of comments that he gets. You're talking thousands, literally thousands, <coughs> thousands of comments. And <coughs> when it gets to that stage, there's, there's no way, there's no way you can keep up in your community. No way you can. And when you, when you start to, um, when you start to get into the, the, the rip tripper realm of thousands of comments and it gets to the stage where you basically don't read the comments anymore. You can't gauge what the base of the community is actually thinking when you're doing reviews. You just can't do it. <clears throat> and you see that happening to a lot of the bigger channels out there. <clears throat> Vaping with Vic, have you seen Picard yet? Yes, I have, Village. I am... I am reserving my judgment on Picard until halfway through the season. That's what I'm doing. I'm reserving my judgment on Picard until halfway through the season. That's actually quite true. Wire top. Nick Devine. Pretty damn good coil builder. Morning, Joker. Well, you're, you're, you've caught the tail end of the cast because I've been on for an hour and a half now, and I need, I, need to, I need to toddle downstairs and think about cooking something for dinner, but yeah, you've caught the tail end of the cast, Joker. <clears throat> when you reviewed the Fat Fish RD, did you try it in squawk mode? I can't remember. If, I think I did. I think I did. Because I reviewed that fat fish at the back end of 2019. How you doing, Rogue Penguin? What's your thoughts on Brexit royal consent? Well, they didn't really have a choice, LG. Um, the Queen doesn't have as much power as people think she has when it comes to what she can do with the government. If things were, If things were really really bad, like fucking riots on the street, fucking economy collapsed, then the Queen could technically turn round to the Prime Minister and say, I want you to dissolve Parliament and go back to the people. But we haven't had any riots. The economy hasn't collapsed. The economy is actually doing quite well in the UK, actually. So the Queen had to sign off. She had to give royal consent for the Brexit bill. She had no choice. What's the chances of a comp making a tank that doesn't leak when you change atmospheres? None. None. The the whole the whole premise Oops, fuck. The whole premise of a tank is a very simple one, right? So you've got you've got your coil down here, you've got your fill mechanism up here, and you've got your tank in here. What keeps that juice in is a mix of two things. Number one partial vacuum above the liquid. In other words, the cap. If I was to open this tank up, leave it open and sit it on the table, within 30 minutes, the juice will start leaking out. Two, the wicking down here. Now, the problem is, if you've got any way, if you've got any way of air getting into the tank or air escaping from the tank, as in differences in pressure, you will get a leak. Now, the only way you can stop a tank, or like an e-cigarette tank, the only way you can stop this leaking is to seal off the top section, which means you can't put juice in it anymore, and seal off the bottom section, which means the cotton won't be able to wick anymore, and then keep the juice in there. And what will happen is, as the pressure outside, if you're <clears throat> if you're on a plane, if the pressure outside increases or decreases, the glass will hold the same pressure in the tank that it had when the tank was originally sealed. You cannot get a non-leakable tank if air can get into the tank. 
You can't make it non-leakable. It's impossible. You just can't do it. <clears throat> ZXX. How you doing, ZXX? Anyway, folks, you can probably tell the voice is getting a little bit scratchy and I need to pop downstairs and think about something for dinner as well. That is it from me, folks. Thanks for popping in for the live show. Um, I'm going to toddle downstairs and get myself a bite to eat now and then plan out the reviews for next week. Um, if you are if you are a YouTube uh, YouTube member, uh, you're on Patreon or you're on Subscribestar, the next fluff cast is going to be next Friday at half six in the evening. That's going to be that's going to be the the YouTube members, the Patreon and Subscribestar only live show, and that's going to be no, not half six. I've done the half six one already. No, the one coming up on January the 31st is going to be at 11 o'clock at night. That's going to be the one for the people over in the United States. So uh, if you're on the YouTube, uh, if you're on the YouTube feed uh, for YouTube members, if you're on Patreon or on Subscribestar, keep an eye on those feeds for the link uh, to that Patreon only cast. That is it from me, folks. And yeah, thanks for watching.